Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Book Brood with Aaron and Heidi. And today we're going to bring our February 2017 TBR. Yes. And that's it. Okay, what do you want to read? Okay, so this at one was actually on my January TBR, and it's Pandora Star by Peter F. Hamilton. I had trouble getting into this one. I'm 19 pages in, and I, I set it down for Diversathon. Mm -hmm. I hate to admit that I'm intimidated by the size. This is a thousand page book, and I feel like until I'm like 300 pages in it, I don't get past that just yeah. size factor of, of uh, I don't want to do it, you know. Right. So, it seems like a very interesting story, though. It's investigating a star that just suddenly disappeared, and this society does not have the technology to get there very quickly, so it's very early on in discovering that the star disappeared. So I, I do want to read that one. That's exciting. Um, so I'm going to focus on, on that one primarily. I, I have a very small TBR this month. Is that the beginning of a series, or is that a standalone? Uh, it's the beginning of a duology. Oh, okay. Okay, I started this during Diversathon. This is like Water for Chocolate by Laura Esquivel, and I definitely want to finish this because I am loving it. I'm over 100 pages into it, and I don't foresee this taking me very long to finish because I am having a hard time putting it down. <laughs> so... That's first thing on my... That's awesome. Yeah. I love those reads. Okay, I'm doing this one on audiobook. This is A Stranger in a Strange Land by Robert A. Heinlein. This is about uh, a Martian that comes to Earth. He's the first Martian-born person to ever visit Earth, and their society is very different, and just the confusions of culture clash. It's very fascinating so far. Um it's getting very much into politics of ownership of property, things like that, um, the rights of a Martian in Earth society. So it is very fascinating, and this is pretty much known as, as one of Heilman's greatest works. So. so is this a human born on Mars or an alien Martian? It's a, it's a human born on Mars, okay. but the... The humans have changed so much. A, a big part of it is he... Okay. He's never seen a woman, and so okay. that was a huge part of the beginning, is we don't know how he's going to react to seeing a woman. Right. So, you know, it does have, unfortunately, Heinlein's wonderful interpretations of women, where they go from just helpless to completely, you know, go get them just within a few pages, which is mm -hmm. frustrating. But, you know, he does write some good stories. Okay, another one that I would like to finish, I am in the middle, no, I'm like a third of the way through Positive by David Wellington, and this is a reread for me, and I am very much enjoying it. I read it last year, and I've been thinking about it all year, and I didn't enjoy it that much the first time around until the end, but on my second read, I'm enjoying it much more, uh -huh. and so I had to put this down for Diversathon. Even though it's own voices, it's a white male author talking about a white male character. But I didn't think that was diverse enough, so I want to finish that. Right. And then the last thing I have that I'm putting on my TBR for February is Revelation Space by Alistair Reynolds. This is about a society of aliens that was discovered that as soon as they reached spacefaring technology, their society disappeared. Uh, this is, I've never read any Alistair Reynolds, so I'm looking forward to that, and it's another big one. Like I said, in my goals for 2017, I'm going to try and work biggest to smallest on the remaining of my list, and hopefully be done with the list quickly. So, that, that's, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Okay, I know that Hardback Quarter, along with someone else that I don't remember, but I will link them down below, um, they are doing a buddy read of Nevernight by Jay Kristoff um, the first week of February. And since I've been putting this off for almost a year now, I figured I would jump on the bandwagon. And then um, the Book Bits and a couple other channels are doing Peter Pan retellings this month for um, their year-long 
fairy tale retellings, readathon situation that's happening over there. And I thought I would jump on with uh, Tiger Lily by Jody Lynn Anderson. I've had this on my TBR for a while, and it's just a retelling told from Tiger Lily and um, Tinkerbell's perspectives. I would like to read at least the first in the Captive Prince trilogy by C.S. Picot, and I really hope I like this since I had to buy the entire trilogy because the library doesn't have it. Um, this has mixed reviews, so I hope I enjoy it. I hope it's not just gay Fifty Shades of Grey. I also have Authority Out from the Library by Jeff Vanderfor Vander... Vandermeer. Okay. And this is the second in the Southern Reach trilogy. And I... I didn't love the first one. I thought it was incredibly unsettling and very weird. But it has stuck with me. And I think I'm finally able to move on with the story and kind of see what's going on. It's about an area that every human expedition into this area has come back with serious um, different issues. Like one came back and they all had like terminal cancer, um, different things. Nobody can tell anyone else what goes on there. And it's very mysterious and it's incredibly unsettling. I listened to the first one on mm -hmm. audiobook and it was creepy. Yeah, sounds creepy. <laughs> but... And then on my Nettie Core for um, reading, I would like to read all of her work this year. This is Lagoon, which I think is a uh, monster or alien story. Aliens come from the ocean, I think. And the last thing that I would like to get to is Lines of Departure by Marco Clus. And this is the second book in his series that I don't know what the name is. I'll leave it linked here. But the first one was Terms of Enlistment, and I really enjoyed it. I put this one off for a really long time because something happened at the end of the first one that I wasn't a big fan of, but I think I'm finally ready to dive back into this military sci-fi world and see what happens from here. Awesome. All right, that's our February TBR. Yep. We'll see how we do. We'll check in at the end or middle of February. <laughs> Go ahead and tell us what you're reading for February. Or if you've read anything on this on our list. Yep. Let us know how you feel about it. <laughs> see you later. <laughs>